Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to do this uh, circuit using MATLAB Simulink uh, to measure the current passing through the 40 ohm resistor and also the current passing through the 300 ohm resistor and also the current passing through 75 ohm resistor also to measure the potential difference or the voltage drop across each resistor of this. So first, open MATLAB and then write Simulink in the command window to open Simulink. And then select electrical model on Simiscape new tank model and then open library browser in which all the components we need So the first component is the battery, which is the electrical source we have, DC voltage source, and we need resistor, actually we need three resistors, sure we will use electrical reference. And for the sensors, we need a uh, current sensor to measure the current and also the voltage sensor to measure the voltage. And to solve this simulation, we need the solver configuration. And to see the results, comes out from the voltage sensor and the current sensor, we should use a PS to Simulink converter and connect this converter to a display so this is the, the components we need to make this circuit just we need to multiply these components by factor may be three because we need three resistors so we need three current sensors three voltage sensor and we need um, six displays to see the readings of all the sensors we have so we will copy this resistor and paste it twice And rotate it 90 degree clockwise the same here rotate 90 degree clockwise sorry okay so you can move these components Well, I think we will need to increase the size of the screen a little bit. Okay, then for the voltage sensor, as you know, it should be connected in parallel to the element. And another one here. You can rotate it counterclockwise 90 degree and for the current sensor it should be connected in series with the element another one here and the last one here. 
Okay, now uh, we are going to connect these components to each other like this. And the voltage sensor connected in parallel. And then the electron to the right fronts and also the solver configuration. The last step is to connect uh, the PS to Simulink converter and then the display. We can copy these components with each other because we will use them together. Okay, then connect for the first sensor, and then the second one, and then for the third one, and so on. And we can move this. Yeah. Okay, now we are going to add the values for each component. As you see here, it is 200 volt. So this would be 200 volt. And for the values of resistance, 40. Okay. And then three hundred, and then the last one is seventy five. Then you can now run the simulation to get the results in each display here. So, as we can see, 